Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about Volkman Ischemic Contracture, a sequelae of compartment syndrome. That means it's one of the complications of compartment syndrome. Before we start, there is always a disclaimer and this, the disclaimer is the same in all my videos. Thank you. Now let's begin. So what is Volkman Ischemic Contracture? It is defined as Permanent shortening of the forearm muscles resulting from injury that give rise to a claw-like deformity of the hand, fist and fingers. This condition is named after 19th century German doctor named Richard von Bockmann. Just a little revision regarding the flexor growth of muscle in the anterior forearm. It can be divided into superficial group and deep group. For superficial group, there is A. Pronator teres, B. Flexor capi radialis, C. Flexor digitorum superficialis, D. Palmaris longus, E. Flexor capi anaris. For the deep group of flexor muscle in anterior forearm, it involves A. Flexor pollicis longus, B. Pronator quadratus, C. Flexor digitorum profundus. Walkman ischemic contracture is a sequelae of compartment syndrome. The causes that involve in the Walkman ischemic contracture is anything that could lead to a risk in the intercompartmental pressure that would lead to compartment syndrome. The causes include prolonged external compression that cause due to tight cast or tight dressing, internal bleeding due to congenital or acquired bleeding disorder, post-operative procedure whereby the bleeding is not properly secured or due to fluid extravasation, example from intravenous fluid leakage, etc. etc. Trauma, especially in the supracondylar humerus fracture or proximal forearm fracture, whereby the fracture will cause bleeding or iatrogenic injury to the surrounding muscle or blood vessels. There is a second pressure burns or snake bite that will lead to increase in capillary permeability. So what is the pathogenesis of Volkman ischemic contracture? It is the end result of prolonged ischemia of muscle and nerve in an extremity. Muscle will undergo necrosis, fibrosis, and contracture. The nerve injury that occur will cause further muscle dysfunction, sensory deficit, and or, or chronic pain. Ischemic necrosis that lead to contraction is by the action of myofibroblasts. Contraction of myofibroblasts will shrink the necrosis tissue, then later followed by collagen deposition and cross-linking that will maintain the contraction. There are three grades of Bokman ischemic contracture. The contracture are classified based on soft tissue damage that has occurred. The three grades are 1. Mild grade, 2. Moderate grade and 3. Severe grade. In 1. Mild grade, it involves the superficial volar group of muscle there is partial ischemia of muscle resulting in flexion contracture of two or two to three fingers. The sensory changes involved are very minimal. The intrinsic muscles are not affected. In two moderate grade of Volkman ischemic contracture, it affects the deep flexor muscles and intrinsic muscles. Median and ulnar nerve function is compromised. There is severe flexion deformity and contracture of the fingers and thumb. In 3, severe grade of Bokman ischemic contracture. It, affect, it affects both the flexor and extensor forearm muscle. There are impact sensory and motor feedback. There is severe deformity and wasting of the hand and forearm. There is severely dry and wrinkled skin with aceration that may be present. How do you manage Volkman ischemic contracture? 
it is based on degree of contracture. In one, Malgrade, physical therapy, dynamic splinting along with tendon lengthening and slight procedure could be done. But the outcome is relatively favorable. For moderate degree of Walkman ischemic contracture, it involves tendon slide, neurolysis and extensor tendon transfer. For 3, severe contracture, it needs extensive and radical debridement of scar tissue and tendon transfer need to be done to regain range of movement of the digits. The differential diagnosis of Walkman ischemic contracture are 1. pseudo Walkman contracture 2. Dupuytren contracture For 1. pseudo Walkman contracture, it is defined as inability to fully extend the fingers due to mechanical entrapment, especially in patients with forearm fracture. There is a sign and symptom of ischemia. It is a rare condition, usually occur in a pediatric age group due to tethering of flexor digitorum profundus to the fracture ulna. For two, Dupuytren contracture. It is a progressive condition characterized by flexion of one or more fingers. The risk factors that involve in Dupuytren contracture are chronic liver disease, alcoholism and smoking. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have learned something from this video. Till we meet again, bye.